you. At first he helped Aegon in their herb garden. But they must have had a fight, and Babo has been sweeping the courtyard ever since. Do you know what happened? Not exactly. You'll have to ask them. But Aegon's word has more weight than that of the other novices, because he's the governor's nephew. Oh, I see. Is there anything you can teach me? Sure. I used to beat up people. I can show you how to strengthen your arms. All right. But I'd like to learn something about potions, especially about magic potions. How can I help you with that? Well, if you work for Neoras, you'll certainly have an opportunity to borrow one of his recipes for a short time. If you bring it to me so that I can take a look at it, I'll train you. I couldn't get away with that. All right. You have to feel sorry for the poor guy. Bye, Betsy. Uh, he really should have known You are better. Aegon, and you are just a novice. Could have told you that, people. What do you want? <laughs> Do you really think? I'm new here. So I see. If you still don't have any work, talk to Pardon. He'll assign you some. That isn't true. What are you planting here? We're trying to grow healing plants that Master Neoras can use to brew potions. That isn't true. What happened between you and Babo? You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Let's get something straight. I shall go my own way, the way that Inos foreordained for me. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way, and certainly not that simpleton Babo. That's... that is... something I'd say. Inos alone knows which path we shall take. My family has always stood highly in Inos's favor, and nothing about that is going to change. I couldn't get away with that. All right. Let's wait and see. I see. Two chosen ones. Well, well. All right. Let's go in here and oh, Gorex, I found you. Hello, I'm new. Can I be of assistance to you? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I certainly did. I've brought a heap of gold. Ah, you're bringing your offering for Enos. That's good of you, my son. I shall use your offering for the best of the monastery, as it pleases Enos. Quite a lot, quite a lot. I'm looking for a place to sleep. There's an empty bed right next door. The first on the right, next to the entrance. You can sleep there. You can store your belongings in one of the unused chests. And remember, you have no business entering the sleeping chambers of the magicians. You're also not allowed to enter the library, unless you've been given permission. What? I don't even know where the library is. What's your task here? My tasks are many and varied. Not only am I the steward, but I am also the treasurer. Mm -hmm. Moreover, I supervise the wine cellar, and I'm in control of the monastery's food supplies. So, if there's anything you need, you can always come to me and get it. For a modest contribution, that is. Yeah, okay, you're a trader, basically. What do you have? I need a few things. You have a lot of stuff that I probably need. Yeah, same price. And what is that? Key, the key. Oh, yeah, if I ever lose it. Okay, dude. Novice. Novice. And there's quite a lot of wine and stuff here. Well, we don't need anything just now. This is where we can sleep. But for now, I'm just too excited that I'm finally here and... Oh, Babel. Hello. You're also new here, aren't you? Yes, that's yes. my friends. Yes, how long have you been here? I've been here for four weeks. Have you already been given a fighting staff? Not so far. Then take this one. We novices all carry a staff as a sign of our ability to defend ourselves. Can you fight? Well, I've wielded a weapon or two. If you want, I can teach you something. However, I have a request. What request would that be? Well, 
One of the paladins, Sergio, is in the monastery at the moment. If you can persuade him to go through a few exercises with me, then I'll train you. I shall see what can be done. Oh, it shouldn't be too difficult. What happened between you and Aegon? Oh, we had a disagreement about how to take care of fire nettles. Aegon had watered them so much that the plants almost had root rot already. Once the roots were completely rotten, he blamed me for it. They've made me sweep the courtyard all day ever since. That's kind of unfair. Why did Aegon do that? You'll have to ask him that. I think he just can't stand it when someone is better than he is. You seem to know a thing or two about plants. We had an herb garden where I learned a few tricks from my grandpa. I'd really prefer to work in the garden again. All right. How's life here in the monastery? I don't mean to complain, but I never thought that it would be so strict here. If you don't stick to the rules, they punish you. Of course, a lot of novices want to study the teaching of Innos in the library, so they can be prepared if they're chosen. But I think the best preparation for the test of magic is fulfilling our own tasks. What's the deal with the chosen and that test? Talk to Brother Igaraz. He knows a lot about that. All right. Quite a lot of information from this guy. Thank you very much. And oh, he has a name too. That's just what I said. Hey, you! I what do you want? Oh, he's sad. What are you doing here? I have transgressed against the precepts of the community. Now I'm waiting for the decision of the High Council, whether I may remain in the monastery. That was no big deal. Tell me what happened. I took a book from the rooms of the magicians while I was sweeping, so I could read it later. Master Highglass noticed it immediately, of course, and asked me about the book. Out of fear of being punished, I lied about it. But he caught me later when I was in my chamber with the book. He was really angry and informed the High Council. Now they are discussing whether I can stay. Can't rely on that. Well, anything's possible. Dude. That's I your own fault. With that. You stole, that only which can be forgiven, but then you lied about it when you were no caught, really and that is just, that is just stupid. I, don't want to hear that I mean, you made, you made not only one mistake, but two, Same and old thing all over again. therefore, I will not forgive that. you, and will certainly not try I'm to help you. Do, 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 novice Icarus. What can I do for you, brother? Why aren't you working? <laughs> I am permitted to study the teachings of Innos. Oh. I seek wisdom in his words. One day, he could choose me. And then, I shall take the test of magic and enter the circle of fire. Who are the chosen? The novices whom Innos has ordained to take the test of magic. He who passes it is accepted into the ranks of the Magicians of Fire. How can I be chosen? You have no influence on that. Inos alone chooses his novices, and the High Council announces his will. Mm, okay, I see. What is the test of magic? A test which is announced by the High Council to all chosen novices. It is an assignment in which faith and cleverness are put to the test. All the chosen novices take part, but it is only possible for one of them to complete it successfully. Mm -hmm. All right. How can I study the scriptures? You must gain access to the library. And how However, do I do that? Master Parlin will only give you the key if you have first finished your duties. All right, my duties, my duties, my duties. What are actually my duties? To perform tasks. Yeah, all right. Hmm. Okay, who are you?
What's your job here? I prepare the paladins for their fight against evil. Oh, you are the, the fighting teacher, basically. What is evil? Evil is everywhere. It is the power of Biliar, the eternal adversary of Innos. It is the all-encompassing blackness which seems to blot out the light of Innos forever. Beliar is the lord of darkness, of hate, and of destruction. Only those among us in whose hearts burns the holy fire of Innos will bear the radiant light of Innos into the world and banish the darkness. Yes, yes I will. But there are only magicians and novices living in the monastery. That is correct, in contrast to our community which honors the word of Innos. The paladins honor the great deeds of our lord above all else. We are the representatives of Innos, but the paladins are his warriors, who go into battle in his name and increase his glory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you can teach me? I am an expert in the magic of ice and the magic of thunder. I can teach you their power. Okay. However, I only instruct magicians. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to learn anything? Uh, okay. Oh, there is. Actually, am I allowed to enter? I'm not sure. Let's just try. Okay. Uh, hello, master. Inos be with you. What can I do for you? What are you doing here? I am praying to Inos that he strengthen my arm and my will. Thus I am armed against all dangers and shall destroy all his enemies in order to do him honor. What enemies? All those who oppose the will of Inos, whether they be human born or summoned creature. Can you go through a few exercises with Babo? Why doesn't he ask me himself? I think he's shy. I see. Good. If it means so much to him, cool. I shall train with him every morning for two hours. We begin at five o'clock. Tell him that. Oh, that's really nice of you. Why aren't you with the other paladins? It may seem unusual that I am here. However, we paladins also serve the magicians, for they preach the will of Innos. We paladins are warriors in the name of Innos. His will is our law. At the moment, I am waiting for new orders from the magicians. See, that is how a paladin should be like. I really like this guy. He is, he is humble and he, uh, well, he tries to do what Innos wants and, and uh, respects the magicians and yeah, he is really great. May Inos illuminate your path. Thank you. So, yeah. I... No, I don't regret my decision, but... No hard feelings to all of you um, who actually thought that I would join the Paladins. Um, it was it was a close decision, to be honest. Um, when I saw all your comments, I, I actually was kind of unsure on what to do, uh, how to decide. And I put quite some thought into it. Uh, but in the end, I still think that uh, joining the mages and the novices is better. Um, Alright. I think... I think we don't really have anything to do just for now, so... Good morning. No. This is a shared bedroom, so... Yeah. All right, we're here. We're in the monastery. I'm, I'm so excited. Uh, tomorrow we will probably have a, a huge load of, uh, of things to do, of, of little tasks that have to be done here in the monastery. But for now, they are probably nice to me because I just, um, I just came here. Um, so yeah. Um, <laughs> Please tell me what you think of my decision, um, if you find it logical or not. Probably not, but yeah. Still, uh, I would like to know um, how you would have decided. And um, for now, I say goodbye from the monastery. And we'll see you again tomorrow. 
Nighty-night.